uh, most of the women you meet are not worth your time. And, and just, uh, and it's not because they're terrible women, but it's because they just, they aren't going to be where you're, they're not going to be the, no. the, your uh, wife that you, that you are going to want. Throughout the years, many accomplished and intelligent men have come to the conclusion that women are vastly overrated. Every single stand-up comedian and a wealthy man with easy access to women would tell you that the costs outweigh the possible advantages after weighing the pros and cons. In reality, the risk-to-reward ratio decreases even more when contemporary issues like allegations, divorce traps, and harassment regulations are taken into account. The greatest important discovery in Meito will be discovered by a man when he eventually understands that women are genuinely more terrified of men than we are of women. Men on their own tend to be extremely simple. They aren't taken seriously by women enough, aren't wanted by anybody, or haven't developed enough to date. Simply put, single men are hesitant to approach women out of concern that they would be rejected or thought to be weird. What would you think if I informed you that the game's regulations had significantly changed? Women are terrified of single men. As more and more qualified bachelor's degrees join the workforce, they have every cause to be terrified. I'll start by explaining why. If we analyze the principles of female biology in mind, we can learn a lot about what motivates women's behavior. I've already talked about hypergamy and how women always want to be with perfect men. You already know the solution, so you won't be surprised by it. I want to talk about how important self-respect and how women view themselves are. As soon as you realize it, a lot of things will fall into place. Feminine appeal and charm have long been used to represent women. There is consensus around this. Women's biggest selling point is the beauty they signify in humankind. Women, therefore, stand for passion and seductive desire. A woman's greatest asset is undoubtedly her beauty. Because of this, men used to approach her in the past. It's for this reason that an entire industry has built up around the quest of aesthetic perfection. Jewelry can therefore date back hundreds or even thousands of years. Because of this, the first accounts of women using cosmetics are from ancient Egypt. For women, appearance is everything. Women give their physical appearance a lot of weight. They work to enhance their looks in order to maximize their chances of meeting compatible companions. She will have a large pool of possible suitors to pick from, and she will select the best one. The most significant measure of a woman's social position is thus the number of potential suitors she can draw. She feels more attractive when more men help her out and ask her out. If no one asks her out and she keeps getting declined, she won't have any self-respect left. Nothing in this is a hunch. This happens frequently. Consider for a second how much more painful rejection is for women if you, as a guy, have experienced it. Women really lose it when they are rejected. They have no tolerance for it at all. Women frequently experience emotional distress when they are rejected or have dates cancelled because they believe that men have abandoned them. She will post tearful videos to everyone who would watch them, and she will complain about her miserable existence to anyone who will listen. These kinds of ladies in their late 20s can be seen on TikTok. They are not very uncommon. And the number of available spouses is decreasing. I can then go back to what I was saying earlier. Women, especially modern women, who are the most hypergamous women who have ever lived, have a huge fear of single men. Furthermore, they are much more frightened of single men who are happy with their life. Some women are greatly hurt by the success and happiness of a single man who is not looking for a relationship. This is disliked by many women because they feel intimidated by it. To draw viewers, it is why the media is so intent on presenting MIGTO as a radical organization. Contrary to popular assumption, the successful, single men that they disdain make up the MIGTO movement. To what end is that? I don't know why women should be so afraid of single men, because it makes it harder for them to draw in clients. That diminishes their value and jeopardizes their future. Women expect that men would follow them, fight for their affection, and eventually make marriage proposals. According to society, having a fulfilling marriage and a compatible life partner are requirements. Despite having to date hundreds of men who are just like that before finding the right one, women rely on this illusion. Meito men have disproved conventional wisdom. Throughout the years, many accomplished and intelligent men have come to the conclusion that women are vastly overrated. Every single stand-up comedian 
and a wealthy man with easy access to women would tell you that the costs outweigh the possible advantages after weighing the pros and cons. In reality, the risk to reward ratio decreases even more when contemporary issues are allegations, divorce traps, and harassment regulations are taken into account. Many men who have a realistic view of the world believe that women are overvalued and unimportant. It is not worthwhile to spend time with women and demand their attention in order to have a small amount of pleasure. In reality, men rapidly become tired of women. Women don't make men happy. The only thing that makes men happy is attaining their objectives and seeing them through. Men who have had unsuccessful dating experiences frequently give up and are happy to focus their attention on other activities, such as physical development and invention. They built profitable enterprises, started traveling the globe, and attained a level of fulfillment that no woman could ever provide. Mito is dangerous because its members make appealing partners for women, not because they are lonely intellectual guys acting oddly. These are the men that women like to control. The risk comes from the fact that these men now value women and are disinterested in adhering to traditional gender roles. They also overcame their innate tendencies and stopped needing feminine validation. It was a terrible blow to the lady who hoped to attract men like these at the club in order to get free alcohol, pricey dinners, and new clothes to flaunt on social media since they started to rely on their life's purpose in its stead. This game is over for these women. They have no interest in her, on the contrary. One women are becoming increasingly alarmed by the rapid increase in the number of men who exhibit this behavior. They want to know where all the valuable men are, to put it another way. How a single man can be so easygoing and joyful is a mystery to most women. This can be interpreted as a dare by some women or as a display of macho power by others. Yet, the energy that brings them together binds them all together. They are eager to learn how he manages to be so happy and successful without giving women any more thought. What happens to modern women if this pattern persists? They are unable to draw the better men they prefer hanging out with. No. They are only there to take care of her needs and put up with her runs. She fantasizes of dating these mito men, accumulating cash with a divorce horse, relocating to a lovely suburban home she can flaunt to her friends, and spending outrageous sums of money on clothing and accessories. She wants to date men who are like this. But if these men suddenly began living by themselves and concentrating on their purpose, that would be a big issue. It presents a significant risk. Women will be forced to seek men if these men are successful in inspiring other men to improve their character. The men won't notice though, since they'll be too focused on themselves and their goals. Recognize that men and women have distinct experiences. A woman's attractiveness and beauty are limited. She'll eventually give up and quit looking for a boyfriend. There will be no one who wants her. A man, meanwhile, has everything to gain by living alone and nothing to gain from settling down with a spouse. Even though the stakes are already quite high, she faces much greater danger if she doesn't find a partner right away. She has little leverage if the man doesn't indicate that he wants to pursue a relationship with her. Because of this, single women are naturally attracted to happy single men. That's all for today on Manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons, and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.